Well, Slater, thanks so much for being here again on day number 21. Wow, 21. So today, um, I am thinking about the desert. That was um, something that came to mind. I was thinking about, you know, the the idea of like purple mountains in the back with some cacti and, and keeping it very simple and almost uh, not, sur well, kind of surreal in a way, just very um, textural and very quiet, just like a desert would be. So that's what I'm thinking. We'll see. Okay. Thanks for being here. Bye. Okay. So my mind is leaning towards this desert scene idea. And I'm going to change this paper from yesterday. So I'm thinking of, it must be fall because I'm thinking of a warm, again, I think I did that yesterday, a warm, kind of a warm purple sky, but we'll see, it could change. I'm, I'm thinking that right now. So the idea is a desert scene, I'm thinking, um, far away distance of some mountains and cacti and just having fun and being kind of abstract with it also so we'll see and I I'm loving you know the yellows with the purple so we'll see what this looks like <clears throat> so I am getting excited about the fall just because I, I it inspires a different thing so sometimes when I when I think about my work, you could, you literally can see it in my work, the um, the changing of the seasons. And, and I don't know if it's me or if that's typical of artists, but um, I think some artists are in tune with the changes of the season with their art. I, I just, it's, it's interesting because I, I never put it together and then I looked back at some of my older pieces and, and when I produced them and Sure enough, you know, I'd have more warm skies and things like that during that time of year. And um, yeah, so that's, it was a good insight for me. So again, I'm just layering in some sky and want some mood. And uh, so what I did is I added a little bit of the blue, the thalo, no, I'm sorry, not thalo, the um, Prussian blue into that. And yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna start going back into my, pulling this red back over. And again, I, I want to um, keep it somewhat expressionistic, I've decided is my word. Um, and uh, keep it kind of simple. And because I am limited on my my times, it's important that I focus on that as being kind of somewhat of a goal. I don't believe that working fast makes your art less nice. It's just, um, it's a style. And um, I believe also that if you are a seasoned painter, a lot of times it, um, it comes to painters a little easier, faster, because they've already put in their time, if that makes sense. Um, so you kind of, I call that when you kind of have a seasoned artist, you, you've already learned from the past, and so it's a little easier to, to paint quicker. Um, I don't know what category I would be in, actually. Um, I'm in between. Okay, so I think I've been painting I don't know, 24 years or something like that. May, actually, 28, I think. Um, okay, so uh, I like that. Putting in some big, bold areas. So I'm going to start doing that right now. And um, I'm not sure why that is. And again, it's, it's, it's just how I see it. So I see myself as getting kind of too tight. So right now I'm just loosening up a little bit. And I always think of like cactus as being kind of so I'm throwing in because I know I want cactus so I might as well put them in now and I remember these blue rows kind of a green blue so I'm gonna try and get those in here too but I just remember how cool that was they were just like green or 
kind of sagey looking green shrubbery every so often. And again, this is not, I'm trying not trying to be realistic. I'm just putting in shapes and having fun. Just kind of having fun. And I want to pull the eye around, so that's why I'm doing that also. Probably put one in here too. I love the desert. I think it's really a, a, a neat, neat place to live. It just has, um, I don't know if I'd say live. I mean, I, I think it probably would. I've never lived there, so I can't say that. But what I, I love about it is the terrain is so uniquely different from what I have here where I am. And um, the plant life and animal life is just really cool to experience. So I think it's neat. People that have these homes over there that they go away for the season and get to experience that. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. So overall, I'm, I'm happy with this, the overall feeling. Now I want to get another level or another, um, what I call another layer of um, terrain here. And I want to draw the eye. So I immediately right now, I'm just going to tuck in. I like to, again, tuck in a few little white areas just to remind myself where I want the eye to lead. And then I'll come back in and I'll manipulate them a little bit into um, the other areas of the paint. And um, so I, I like that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working in my, my terracotta and my sand and work that stuff in. Some warmth coming in here, merging in with those and back into this back. So as far as um, ideas, I had someone make a comment. You know, how do you, how do you, how do you keep getting these fresh landscape ideas, or how, how you know, what, how are you doing that? And um, I truly don't know. The only thing I can say is that I, when I think about myself, and I, and I, just driving to work or sitting sitting by my canvas, I, I envision places that I want to be or see, and and that that helps me inspire some of these pieces um, and uh, that could that's part of it I think um, and I don't know if they're necessarily fresh ideas they're just you know they're just fun ideas and and um, I enjoy I mean I just love to paint so you could probably give me a rock or a piece of paper and I'd love to paint it. So that's, that's me. Okay, so I like that. That's a really cool blue. How did I get that? So those are all things I ask myself sometimes when I paint to, to remind myself how I got that really cool blue green color. You might not be able to see it on camera, which is, you know, unfortunately on video, you can't see everything. Um, and that's why I post these also on my website and they are for purchase also because people can zoom in and see areas that you can't see on the film. There's pros and cons to all that, you know. Um, yeah, this is really, I'm, I'm really liking this, it's fun. Um, so again, different brush strokes, different brush um, directions, um, feelings. Um, I, I call it dancing with my brush sometimes. And um, I want to get these cacti in here a little bit bright, not intensely bright, but a little bit brighter. So I'm going to start working in. I want it to have almost a, a, a glow on one side, so I'm working that in right now. And a lot of times I'll come back in and rework, and that's fine. Um, it's, you know, I'm not trying to paint the masterpiece at once. <laughs> wherever but I'm just having fun so getting these little little fun ideas in here I know that uh, a lot of times they have these like cool blossoms so I might throw one in here um, I'm not even sure what color they really are I'm gonna put a white white with some pink kind of in it so I'm happy with that And 
And um, I'm always, you know, asking myself too, you know, what what is it that's going to make this a little, you know, what is it, what can I do to this one that's different from this one? And so you can see I kind of changed up the color a little bit, even though I want to keep in the same key in the area. So for example, this would be bent, so it's hitting, the light would be kind of hitting it in differently there. Um, it would be hitting probably similar light onto that flower and maybe a smidgen on this side. So I'll just tuck in maybe a little lighter right here. Um, so those are all things I, I'm constantly asking myself. I might put a little something, something on that one too. And uh, I can also do some of my scratching in ideas, but I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to go a little cooler green with this one. Since it is in silhouette in my mind. And I I kind of overplayed the blue green. I, I want to go just a little bit, I think a little bit more muddy. I don't know. We'll see. So we get a little bit of red in here. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. And again, this is something you might not see on camera. But I, I see it and I like it. So I'm going to continue on that, that direction. And then I'll go back in and start adding some of that green and blue and the other color back in. So start pulling some of that down. Okay. So this is where I asked myself, okay, what can I do to improve? What can I do that would make this more interesting or draw the eye around? And overall, I'm, I mean, I'm really happy with it. I think this, this in here, I'm going to lighten this little area up a little bit. Um, there we go. Um, and I'll come in and do some fun things with my back of my brush too. And then the other thing I like to do is um, just ask myself, just like I am, you know, talking to a a critique group, you know, what can I do to improve? What 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 what's lacking? What could it use? So I'm going to come in here and just add a few a few things that might make this kind of fun. Maybe some shadow in here. And again, I'm I'm trying not to keep this too tight or realistic. So I'm going to probably at this point say goodbye I mean I literally I'm kind of done I'm gonna do a few more fun things to this you'll see on the the uh, post but overall I'm really happy with the results I like the the overall feeling and usually this is the best place for me to um, you know kind of stop and reevaluate off camera so I can you know really take it in and look at it it's funny, I, I never thought I'd be doing videos and they were super fun because I can explain to you what I'm doing. A lot of people um, also find that hard to do. I don't, I must, I must in my head talk as I'm painting all the time because it actually doesn't feel much different talking to the camera. The difference though is that I want to, um, I do want to take some time off to just off camera look at some of my work. So that's what I'm gonna do next and I'm really happy you were here. And I really appreciate you. And um, again, if there's ever any questions or if you want to make any kind of a um, suggestion as to what you'd like to see, just go onto my website, nicoleslayer.com, or leave a note on my YouTube video. I'm always here to help. And um, you have a lovely day. And we will see you on day number 20. What are we on? Let's see. Number 22, my goodness. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again. Okay, I just finished my 21st painting. I'm so excited. So day number 21 out of 30 paints in 30 days. And overall, I thought it was a really good experience. I stuck to my plan. I kept in with the expressionistic style of painting. And that's been kind of a struggle. I was um, thinking of it as abstract, but in actuality, it's more impressionist or impressionistic or expressionistic, which is... Um, you still see subjects in my mind it's you still see subjects and it's just the expression of painting I'm not trying to be perfect I'm not trying to make it realism I'm just having fun and I'm just so glad that you're here to be a part of this experience so day number 22 tomorrow my takeaways were you know just keep honor honor your style honor your your intentions and 
Um, I also utilized a lot of really fun colors today. I used a sage green, which is more of the gray green family. Um, lots of purples and um, warm clay tones and put in some yellow to get it a little bit more of a sand color of a desert. So overall, I just, I had a great experience. I was so glad that I, I finished this today. I'm looking forward to number 21. And if you can see my board, it's getting, you know, pretty big back there and I'm, I'm excited. This is looking good. So um, you are a part of my journey and a part of my experience. I'll never forget this. And I really appreciate all your love and support. So thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.